only talk about things to do with heat. And that is it. So they won't even discuss anything else. They will deny anything that doesn't have anything to do with heat. They even, dis they even deny all of their 40 years of research leading up to this. Yeah. Although they said this can cause cancer and all the damage, they say, no, it can't. We're only looking at heat and heat is all that matters. Okay. Yeah, uh, um, I prefer to call it lying. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think I've never known so many liars uh, in my life as what is coming out now right. from the government. Mm -hmm. uh, they, I mean, to put it simply, they did all the research, they knew the dangers, and then they decided to lie to the public for no other reason than to, prov to save themselves with lawsuits and to make money for industry. And that's written down, and I've got that written down. Okay. Um, so for the last <clears throat> 40 years, the government, the English government, has been lying to the people. And the American government, the Canadian, the Australian, they have been lying. Uh, they have been lying to protect industry, protect their profits, to protect themselves from lawsuits. Uh, so it, it, they are really just liars <clears throat> and, and it's provable. I, I, I made a statement in Birmingham, in this country, probably 15 years ago. Uh, and I haven't changed it since. And I've said that I believe that this industry and the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. And with the growth of the industry over the last 15 years, I would say now that these people are probably going to cause more death and suffering than the entire Second World War. And is that genocide? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. And are they going to get away with it? Yes, because they are untouchable. They are outside the law. Who is actually behind those decisions? Is this sanctioned by the WHO? Sanctioned by the World Health Organization without a shadow of it. It is the same people. Um, it's the same people sit on the ICNAP certificate. They sit on our government's health protection agency, sit on the World Health Organization. Uh, it's the same people. It's the same people. There's probably no more than 20 of them. <clears throat> but they, yes, they are going to, in my opinion, commit the worst genocide this planet has ever known not just people, but animals, plants, they are probably going to cause more destruction uh, than a global war. And in several hundred years time, uh, people will look back, whoever survives, and look at what we try to do to stop them. Operation Paperclip, at the end of the war, uh, the scientists were pardoned, most of them. They were pardoned for all of the people they had killed, experimented on. They were given new identities, mostly in the United States. Uh, they were given new identities lived an ordinary civilian life, very well paid, and they went to work in laboratories for the American government. 
and they handed over all of their research and this is where it came from and this was the basis of all of this Operation Paperclip if they could catch somebody and keep their name secret mm -hmm. that was Operation Paperclip and they took them back okay. they took them back and they kept them they used all of their resources mm -hmm. uh, and there was a lot of scientists they used all of their resources uh, and, and that was the basis of the mind control, the drugs, and everything else. I, I do know one experiment, just to give you some examples. They, they, I know that they found that um, with, with one of the subheadings <clears throat> was uh, the microwaves on pregnant women. And they found that <clears throat> they could cause a, a 50 po 57... 0.7 increase in miscarriages in pregnant women, uh, which is just one experiment. You know, so what you're actually doing is killing 57% of all the children. Uh, again, mixing microwaves or, or electromagnetic waves with uh, LSD, lysergic acid, on four-year-olds. Um, they, they just experimented on people causing any amount of suffering to the point of death and if people ended up in metal cages uh, or stone boxes for the rest of their lives uh, that was the way it was going to be because they were allowed to be experimented on but um, as I say it's it, you know it, there is no boundary. There is nothing which, to me, is too low. I mean, if you're if you're going to attack a uterus and a child, uh, you can't get much lower. Um, and this is what they were all about. At the end of the Second World War, uh, a committee was formed by all of the Western Allies, the United States, and Russia. <clears throat> Uh, and it was called the Nuremberg Treaty. And the Nuremberg Treaty was agreed by all the countries uh, from the end of the Second World War. It was set up uh, to stop people like Joseph Mengele, the Doctor of Death, mm -hmm. in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp where he experimented on twins <clears throat> and they from the Japanese torturing the American and the British and the European soldiers the Germans uh, experimenting uh, the Nuremberg Treaty was set up and it's very defined and very succinct and it says that no person may be experimented upon for any reason, and this includes microwave irradiation, for any reason without their consent. And before they give their consent, they must have full knowledge of the length of the experiment, the outcomes, any potential dangers, any potent potential ill healths, <clears throat> Uh, it must be fully understood and explained and they must give individual consent. Uh, and this includes TETRA, which is an experiment that's going on until 2018 to look for cancer and brain damage. So everybody using TETRA is actually breaking the law, the people organising them. So that was set up. So experiments on people service personnel the police officers with tetra microwaves it is all illegal according to the nuremberg treaty as far as i know the nuremberg code mm -hmm. and the nuremberg treaty was created after the nuremberg trials right yep and in the nuremberg trials there was a specific trial called the doctor's trials Yep. 
Do you recall the sentencing of those trials? They were hanged. Yeah. Oh, I, and I've written it. I've written it in my papers and I've said it on air in the radio. In fact, I said it, I was on um, international radio. It went out to 95 countries two Sundays ago. And I said, scientists at the end of the war were hanged for what scientists today are doing and getting away with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yep. Sentences you to death by hanging. At such time and place as higher authority may direct.